Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are to miss the Duke of Edinburgh's memorial service and Harry will not return home to join his family at the occasion to celebrate his grandfather's life, it has been confirmed. Royal commentator Daniela Elsa hit out at Harry's decision, calling it a DK move. While no reason has been given, it has been widely speculated that his ongoing battles over his security arrangements and the lack of police protection if he comes, are the reasons. But Ms. Elsa said, this is Berkshire we're talking about, not Basra. If he went back, he would be facing Piers Morgan's withering column inches, not mortar rounds. Representatives for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were contacted for comment. One minute ago 1118 Queen Maxima's empowering nod to Ukraine with apt £400 yellow jumpsuit and blue coat Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, Zero, met refugees from Ukraine at the humanitarian service point in Amsterdam on Wednesday March 16. The royal looked fantastic in a stunning yellow jumpsuit from Nathan Couture. The Dutch queen has worn the jumpsuit many times before. The piece retails for £399.99 and being yellow, it was a very sentimental nod to the Ukrainian flag. Maxima paired this with a blue coat that has been seen many times before on her daughter, Princess Katharina Amalia. The yellow jumpsuit and blue coat made the perfect nod to Ukraine through her wardrobe. The Queen continued her nods to Ukraine through her accessor. Queen Maxima accessorized with a mini bandita bag from Ruff Studio. The bag featured a blue and golden print, again another sentimental nod to the war in Ukraine. 1021 Kate's best green outfits as royal family mark St. Patrick's Day. Pictures Kate, Duchess of Cambridge has worn several stunning green outfits over the years, and in honor of St. Patrick's Day, Express. Co.uk has collated pictures of some of the Duchess' best ensemble. The royal family marks St. Patrick's Day every year, and royal watchers look forward to Kate Middleton and Prince William's traditional visit to Aldershot to watch the 1st Battalion Irish Guards at the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Kate often rocks a green outfit for the event, but she is known to love green when out and about on other engagements too. Click here to see some of the best pictures of Kate Middleton wearing green since joining the royal family in 2011-09. 3C The Queen Mother and the Queen are pictured in 199 ahead of St. Patrick's Day celebrations. The royal family have shared a throwback photo of the Queen Mother and the Queen in 199 with the Irish Guards following the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade and Shamrock presentation. 908 Inside Kate Middleton embarrassing St. Paddy's Day mishap she won't want to repeat today Kate Middleton and Prince William make an appearance at a St. Patrick's Day parade every year, and today Kate will likely be hoping to avoid a repeat of her embarrassing 2013 mishap. William and Kate were all smiles as they attended the St. Patrick's Day event back in 2013, with the Duchess dressed in traditional green for the outing. Kate was pregnant with Prince George at the time, but she still rocked her trademark pumps during the visit. But during the parade, it seems Kate's trademark footwear let her down when her four-inch heel got stuck in a drain, leaving her slightly red-faced, but still smiling. Luckily for Kate, Prince William was on hand to assist her as she freed her heel from the grate. Despite the mishap, the Duke and Duchess were both in good spirits and they took the minor incident in their stride. Kate and William's visit to the St. Patrick's Day event today will be their first in-person visit for two years. 08, 0 Prince George tipped to attend upcoming engagement alongside Kate and Prince William Prince George may attend the upcoming service of Thanksgiving held to honor the life and legacy of Prince Philip, one royal blogger said. Most members of the royal family have yet to formally confirm their attendance at this month's memorial service for Prince Philip. However, the Queen's adult children and grandchildren are all expected to attend, with the exception of Prince Harry who has already announced he won't return to the UK for this occasion. Royal watcher Gertrude Daly, who leads the blog Gert's Royals, believes the adult royals may even be joined by some of the great-grandchildren of the Sovereign. Looking back to previous services of Thanksgiving, the royal watcher noted the youngest member of the royal family in attendance was eight at the time. This led her to suppose Prince George, who is turning nine in July, may join Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William at Westminster Abbey on March 29. She wrote on Twitter, with the service of Thanksgiving for Queen's Diamond Jubilee in 2012 and 90th birthday in 2019 the youngest extended family were about eight years old. So I would expect the Phillips girls, maybe Prince George and M.I.A. Tyndall, but not the younger ones. However, she noted, this service won't mark a happy milestone, which may lead parents to leave their young children at home. She said, but it just depends on whether the parents think their child is up for it. Unlike the service of Thanksgiving for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee and 90th birthday, this is a sadder occasion. 07, 7 Good morning Good morning Im, I'll be bringing you all the latest developments on the Royals for the next few hours. Please feel free to get in touch with me as I work if you have a story or tips to share.
Your thoughts are always welcome. Email rachel.hagen at reachplc.com.